John Cozy is senior analyst at Thomson Reuters. He joins me now from New York with his outlook on the markets and how he expects the rest of the earnings seasons to play out. Now, John, give me your take on things. Uh, we had a kind of a sell off today. Uh, how do you see the, the string of disappointing uh, earnings, uh, third quarter earnings season, not very good at all, shaping up to be better than originally anticipated? How do you see it? Well, Mike, let's start off by talking about the market. It, it's been moving pretty much sideways in the last five weeks, kind of looking for direction. There are a lot of uncertainties ahead, as we know, the fiscal cliff, the election is coming up. What's going on with Europe? Is China going to make a hard or soft landing? But the earnings year-over-year uh, -year projections that we have for the third quarter, when you combine the companies that have already reported, which is over 20%, and the companies yet to report, we're looking at about a year-over-year -year change of about a 2.2% decline. That's the first decline in a long, long time, even though the companies that have reported have, on average, reported better than expected earnings. The bar had been set pretty low. So we're still looking for a negative quarter, uh, with 20 or 25 percent of the uh, S&P still uh, yet uh, have, having had reported and the rest yet to report. Now you're saying the bar was pretty low so what do you expect for the rest of this uh, earnings season? Well right now I think a lot of the earnings were impacted by technology names as we, as we saw this week the the negative uh, influences of IBM, Intel, Google, even Microsoft. Um, the bright spots have been in the banks but what we're seeing is analysts aren't changing any of their estimates yet uh, just for those companies that have already reported. So we're still looking at negative earnings for the quarter, and everybody's pretty much sitting there with their hands on their, uh, under their legs, kind of waiting to see what's going to happen. Let's talk a little bit about Wall Street. Uh, the biggest banks, they're reporting earnings that topped expectations this week. But can they keep this momentum going, given the shaky economy and, of course, the regulatory concerns that I'm sure are dancing around as well? It certainly seems that way, Mike. According to Thomson Reuters, we're seeing estimate revisions for the coming fourth quarter actually being revised for those banks that have already reported. Also, the commercial banks seem to have been doing very well, and those earnings revisions are, are moving up uh, as opposed to something like the technology sector where we see companies that have, yet, that have reported and yet to report having their fourth quarter revisions lowered. Well, you're talking about the tech sector. Uh, should we expect more surprises on the downside there? I think a lot of the surprises are coming from what's going on in fundamental issues like with Google and the PC cycle with, Mike, with uh, Microsoft and as well uh, Intel. But also, I think in the back of investors' minds, there's a lot of question as to what those companies, which are multinational, have exposure to international uh, nations will uh, be impacted by uh, coming uh, in, in the coming quarter. So analysts are reticent to make big, big changes, but we do see for those companies that have reported that they are in fact lowering those estimates for the next quarter. So they seem to be taking things one quarter of a time, but it's not looking good for tech, particularly techs with multinational exposure. John, we started this broadcast by talking about what happened in Brussels, but uh, Europe still seems like it's a mess. There's a slowdown in China. What uh, sectors do you think are going to be impacted by this? I think what we're going to be seeing is a continuation of the way investors have been playing things in the last quarter or so, Mike. I think that's going to be energy, the energy sector, and in particular the material sector, things like chemicals and uh, iron ore. Somebody, I heard somebody once say, you know, keep an eye on BHP Billiton. If, if things are going to be improving, we're going to be watching a stock, something like that. So I think that the, the countries that are going to be uh, bootstrapping us up are going to be the ones that are going to be using the, the material sector to do that. John, we have about 20 seconds. Can you give us an idea of what sectors we should keep our eye on next week? I think there, there are a lot of sectors that, that are, every sector is basically reporting, Mike. Apple is going to be reporting on Tuesday. We are looking for uh, the Thomson Reuters Starmine Smart Estimate, looking for Apple to beat on their estimates. The rest of the companies are pretty much in line, but for, for inline companies like Minnesota Mining, the 3M company, uh, Coach, luxury retailer, any kind of sign of weakness coming out of the global markets, the international markets, is going to send stocks lower and, and their peers as well. All right, John, thanks so much for joining us tonight.